This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are exploring the issue of how writing represents language. In this recording, we are exploring the Linear B writing system, an ancient writing system identified with cultures found on the Mediterranean island of Crete. Let's explore the question of how the Linear B writing system encodes language. Our learning objective in this video is for us to identify what linguistic information is encoded in the Linear B writing system. Linear B is a mixed system. What does that mean? It means that there are aspects of a logography and aspects of a syllabary. The possibly logographic symbols likely represent one morpheme each. We're going to focus mostly on the syllabary aspect of the Linear B writing system, which is what our textbook author, Richard Sprout, refers to when he talks about Linear B in Chapter 3 of the textbook Language, Technology, and Society. In a syllabary, each symbol in the syllabary represents one syllable. Linear B is most well known for its use in Mycenaean Greek. Notably, the syllabary, the Linear B syllabary, is an imperfect fit for the syllables that are allowed in Mycenaean Greek. The Linear B syllabary allows for syllables of type V, meaning a syllable consisting of a single vowel, and CV, meaning a syllable consisting of a consonant followed by a vowel. There are other more complex syllables that are allowed and used in Mycenaean Greek, including syllables of type CCV, meaning a syllable formed with two consonants followed by a vowel, syllables of type CVC, meaning a syllable formed with a consonant, vowel, consonant, and syllables of type CCVC, meaning a syllable formed with two consonants followed by a vowel followed by a consonant. This imperfect fit between the legal syllables of a language and the syllabary symbols used to represent that language in writing is actually quite typical. So it is very common for a syllabary to be used in a language and for there be, to be an imperfect fit between the symbols that are used to represent those syllables and the syllables that are allowed in the language. Here we look back to our tree structure, looking at the various types of writing systems that were developed. Linear B, the part of Linear B that we're focusing on, is a syllabary. So, a syllabary is a phonographic system that represents syllables. So each symbol in the Linear B syllabary represents a syllable. In a logography, each symbol represents a morpheme. And it's likely that some of the other Linear B symbols probably represented morphemes. These other symbols are possibly logographic in nature. It's hard to say for sure because we don't have a huge amount of information 
about the how these symbols were used. We know that some of them may have been used in accounting purposes. So it's possible that the symbol here, for example, that we see of a U would have represented the morpheme in Mycenaean Greek for U and so on. We're going to focus primarily on the linear B syllabary. Here we see the symbols that make up the linear B syllabary, along with the syllables that correspond to each symbol. In the first column in this table, we see syllables that represent a single vowel. The remainder of the table shows us CV syllables, so syllables that start with a consonant and end with a vowel. As I mentioned previously, the linear B syllabary used for Mycenaean Greek was an imperfect fit for the syllables that Mycenaean Greek allowed. So we note here that the syllabary can represent syllables consisting of a single vowel or syllables consisting of a consonant followed by a vowel. But what if you need to write a word that had a CCV syllable in it? Well, you had to make do with one of these syllables, even though one of those don't perfectly match the word that you're trying to represent. Why is this the case? Well, the linear B writing system is thought to have descended from a previous linear A writing system that was also used on Crete. Linear A is associated with the Minoan culture. Now, not a lot is known about the Minoan language other than that it's probably not related to Mycenaean Greek, and it likely had a much simpler syllable structure. So it's quite reasonable to assume that Minoan probably had V syllables and CV syllables, but quite likely did not have more complex syllables like CCV or CCVC that are allowed in Mycenaean Greek. So when linear A was used, it's quite possible that the syllables used in the syllabary, the linear A syllabary, would have matched the syllables allowed in Minoan. But when Mycenaean Greeks came to Crete and used the descendant system, the linear B system, they made do with the writing system that they had. Even though Mycenaean Greek has more complex syllables. So this concludes our discussion of how linear B encodes language. To review, Linear B, as a writing system, is a mixed system. There are some symbols that we don't know for sure, but we think are possibly logographic, with each symbol representing one morpheme. The part of the Linear B writing system that we focus on, and that our book focuses on, is the Linear B syllabary. In the syllabary, each symbol represents one syllable. The linear B syllabary was used to represent Mycenaean Greek. The syllabary was an imperfect fit for Mycenaean Greek because the syllabary explicitly allows the representation in symbols of syllables of the form V and CV, so syllables formed with a single vowel and syllables formed by a consonant followed by a vowel. However, Mycenaean Greek allows for more complex syllables of the form CCV, CVC, and CCVC. When someone attempts to use the linear B syllabary to write a word in Mycenaean Greek containing one of these more complex syllable types, the existing symbols must have been used, even though they were an imperfect fit. 
This is typical of syllabaries. So it's actually the norm for a syllabary to not perfectly match all of the legal syllables in the language that the syllabary is representing. 